Much of the world's future economy depends on satellites. Everything from the internet, goods shipping, and autonomous cars, to climate change monitoring and weather prediction, CD Group predicts that the space industry could reach $1 trillion in annual revenue by 2040. But it's a messy business. Elon Musk's Starlink alone hopes to eventually have as many as 42,000 satellites deployed in space. And once they get broken or collide with other objects, these objects become waste. Switzerland's Clear Space is a startup with a solution. It's working on technology for space debris removal and has just raised a 26.7 million euros to accelerate the launch of the world's first ever space mission to remove a moving non-cooperative object from orbit. What does Clear Space do? Clear Space, which was founded in 2018, develops technology and services that can extend the life of active satellites, for example when they run out of fuel, and safely remove them from orbit when they're no longer functioning. Currently, the startup is working on three projects contracted by public institutions, two for the European Space Agency ESA, and one for the UK Space Agency. For Clear Space, a 110 million euros contract from ESA, it's making a robot with claws, which will be sent to space to capture a part of one of ESA dead rockets. The part, which is currently flying at the speed of a bullet, weighs 120 kilos and is a half a meter wide. Clear Space's spacecraft hopes to catch it and burn it in the atmosphere. The mission is planned for 2026. Today, abandoned and damaged satellites and dead rockets, which are bad news because they can crash into functioning satellites, are manually captured and repaired through astronaut-led missions using space shuttles. Gunkeev says that Clear Space's mission will be a world first. No one previously has been capturing an object that is not designed to be captured, that is not cooperative. It's not like a space station where you have the spaceship that is approaching and docking. Both of them are designed to be docked. Here, it's an uncontrolled object. What's the market like? According to Clean Space, there are currently more than 5,000 objects flying around the Earth, which could be classified as debris. Every year, approximately 74 new objects become space debris. There are also 3,400 active satellites, which will sooner or later go out of use. There are several other companies that provide similar services to Clear Space, such as Japan's Astroscale the U.S.'s Orbit Guardians, and France's Share My Space. But Clear Space says its mission will be the first to capture an object which wasn't designed to be collected. Who has invested in Clear Space? OTB Ventures, Swisscom Ventures, Luxembourg Future Fund, Lake Star, NQTEL, Happiness Capital, 600T Space Investments. What's next for Clean Space? For Clean Space, the 2026 mission is just the beginning of large-scale operations. When it's successfully concluded, and the company has all the technology in place, the startup will spend much less money on research and development, and will focus on selling its service businesses for a much lower price than today. Gugkiv is counting on future regulations. He hopes that as there's a growing interest in satellites, policymakers will force their providers to take care of the waste they generate. Businesses that deploy satellites will then have to cooperate with companies like Clean Space to remove their junk from orbit. Thanks for watching.